Howdy ducks. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Uh, oh, I forgot. I'm missing buttons. How's it going? It's unchatter time. That thing's on now. Uh, it's time for more Dyson Sphere. Hi, GM. How's it going? Uh, happy Monday. Happy, happy Monday, right? Dyson Sphere. More Dyson Sphere. Um, our Monday spot has changed. I've finished a I've finished a crafting project, so now we're we're back to video games on Mondays. Oh my gosh! Here's a cat. She's been here the whole time, haven't you? Yeah. Okay. Come here. It's still it's still cold out. It's still so cold. It's less cold than it was. We're up to we're up to 37 Fahrenheit. So, you know, another. 15, 20 degrees higher than it was yesterday. Look at that tail. I know, right? She loves showing off her backside to the stream. Uncannily well at that. Um, she was she was so cuddly this morning. She was completely unconscious in my lap for like an hour. Uh, but now that the uh, apartment has warmed up a tiny bit and it's a little bit warmer outside, now she's like, all riled up again and, and wanting attention just like in the last 10 minutes because that's how she functions isn't it um but yeah uh she'll she'll be here she'll settle down right i'm sure she'll just get back into her habit of uh being in front of the screen the whole time right yeah i know uh but yeah we'll just get into it here uh if this can if this can work Today's episode is brought to you by a snow-covered forest. That thing that, like, the entire continent is right now, I'm pretty sure. Um, but also by by you, uh, clicking buttons down there, hanging out, uh, lurking, chatting, following, all that good stuff, uh, joining the Discord. That's what's keeping me warm through these cold winter months. Uh, and I appreciate all of you, and, and that's all I'm going to say about it. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's let's work on a Dyson sphere. Let's make a sphere. Let's see if this works. In theory, this all still works. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So I think you're still getting sound, right? Yeah. Cool. Cool. Here we are. Uh, we have yellow cubes going, right? We just got yellow cubes going right at the end of the last stream. Ow. Um, and these are our, this is red cubes, right? Yeah, this is red cubes. And our, our power situation is tenuous at best, um, but that's going to be on the docket for today for sure. Um, we're going to start getting solar sails going, I think. Um, but first, um, like this, this, this research, this is like a key research. This is a very, very, uh, very significant research that we're working on presently. We just need another... 113 yellow cubes, which we're, you know, making presently. Uh, I think that's over uh, here. I'm going to have to re reorient myself now that we have all these towers around. Um, but we're making our yellow cubes, which takes titanium. Um, so then the next step, once we have that research, we're going to want to make a couple of interstellar logistics towers, which are different towers. They're bigger towers, if you can believe it. These these towers are for transporting things within a planet, and then there's other towers for uh, stuff between planets, which is what we're working on now. Um, and then they have their own ships as well. So in order to make this, we require I mean, A, the big towers require a little tower. <laughs> so that's cool. Um, but also uh, more of this or uh, this titanium alloy, which is a thing that we also just finished researching. And that's going to take titanium and steel and sulfur. That's cool. We are making all those things. Uh, of course, the titanium is going to be the tricky one. Um, so four, four ingots makes four titanium alloys. So one of these is going to take 40 titanium in addition to the titanium for this part, which is another 40. So another 80 titanium per big tower. Neat. Um, but then we also have to make a handful of these, which also take titanium. That's another 10 per ship, right? Um, 
so and then the thrusters what do the, th the thrusters take something in theory where I, th I can make those already so that's a reinforced thruster that takes another five so each each transport vessel is going to take another 15 titanium plus another 10 processors so to so to get a to get two stations with 10 ships going between them which is kind of you know the the ideal uh, we would have uh, that's 80 titanium plus the plus the plus the 40 from here that's 160 titanium plus 100 100 titanium for the ships and then and then two thrusters which takes takes so another five so that's another it's another 200 titanium for the ships yeah like reinforced titanium okay so we're let's start making reinforced titanium because we're not making that anywhere i don't have to make it a smelting facility yeah okay so let's work on that because that's that's going to be what happens next um i think it's And then all these got flown over, in theory. So our sulfur is being made here. Our sulfur is right here. Right? Sul sulfuric acid. Um, and this could do, probably even get another, another tank on it, just so that it can keep going. Why not? Not that we have the power to spare for it, but whatever. Um, so we need steel, which is on the logistics network. We need sulfuric acid, which is not. And then, and then what was the other thing? This. Titanium, which we don't have on the logistics yet, but that will happen. So I think, I mean, ultimately we would want to get sulfuric acid on the logistics network, and then we could just pipe that over to our giant smelting operation on the other side of the planet. But that might not happen right now. I think I'm I think I'm conserving our titanium until we get the logistics coming in. What's the the robot called? You mean like our robot? I don't know. Do we have a name? Uh Mecca. And just Mecca. I don't think it has a fancy name. Um, I should come in and, and like, oh, Icarus. We're called. It's called Icarus. That's right. We are the Icarus because we're flying too close to the sun. Duh. Um, but you can you can do all this too. You can. Um, uh, can I just change main metal color, armor decorative color, armor main color? So we could just do. Um, just be green <laughs> very easily. How about that? Robot looks like Bumblebee from Transformers. Kind of. A little, a little bit. I can see where you're getting that. Icarus is a superb name. I agree. I think that's a perfect name for this game. Oh, did it not? It didn't save. Uh, oh, even, but even has, it has my other ones. These aren't, these aren't all mine. Um, can I just, how do I... Or I say yes. Apply. Applied. Okay, cool. Now we're green. Yay, we're green. <laughs> green. Not now they're green. Green Icarus can be green. That's fine. What's wrong with green Icarus? Green green Chris. Um anyway. We're we're needing. We're needing a place to make the this titanium alloy. Uh, now I shall call it Kermit. That's fair. Kermit bot. Kermit bot. I'm okay with this. Uh, so we have. Look at all this stuff we have. Look at this giant cloud of bots that we have in the sky here. This is this is great. This is what we want. 
Um, but this is our smelting operation over here. We're making iron and steel and copper and magnets and uh, diamonds and graphite. So maybe down, maybe down here we'll start like um like a titanium kind of a thing. Because we're gonna want to bring in the titanium and the silicon and smelt it here. I think that's the smart thing to do instead of smelting it on the other planet. Because then we'd have to export power out there because that planet has nothing on it. it has a, a geothermal vent and like a tiny bit of coal. Um, so the less power we have to ship out there, the better. Um, that means making another. It does mean we're making another. That would be. That would even be two. That would be two more stations. I don't. I can't afford that right now. I don't think. Like right, I. Like in the long run, that's what I want. But I don't know that I can do that right now, considering all the titanium we're gonna need for. For the big stations. Let's see how much titanium we have. I have none on me. Uh, so our entire stockpile is around here. Uh, here. I can remember where everything is. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred. While you build a Dyson Sphere, I'm going to build a Lago hot dog truck. Cool. Similar levels of engineering prowess. <laughs> Can you launch your hot dog truck into space? Uh, <laughs> I mean, two... I could probably do, like, one station. So we'd have to power the whole dang thing. Let's do... Tired and stress so bricks will soothe me. Bricks are great for that, yeah. Um, little, little meditative tasks, I agree. I'm sorry you're stressed. Um, I assume it's work stuff. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, do whatever, do whatever the heck you want. Um, and there's no, there's no logistics over here. There's nothing like we can even piggyback in the meantime. Um, how about I do? This might be temporary, but I think moving things to the sulfur is going to be easier than moving the sulfur manually. Um, so then this is going to be a smelting facility that takes three inputs. Which is weird, right? Uh, but that's why this is here, a smelter three. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put this like here. Maybe, maybe it'll live here in the long term, but I think this is mostly just a right now thing. Uh, but then the, the sulfur can just come across like this. Be like one of these. Fine, fine. Well, that's gonna go there. And then steel, I'm just gonna put in manually, and titanium, I'm gonna put in manually. I think that's gonna be how that works right now. Uh, I just, yeah, let's just do that. Um,. And someone was saying there was a, a trick to using sorters for inserting onto a thing. Yeah. Oh, in the filter priority feed. Okay, okay. That's a completely different thought, but that's a that's a good thing to remember that we can set priority on the exits of these splitters, so that gives us a bit more control over some things. Um, so I'm gonna do I do I can't go side by side. Fine, whatever. Um, no input conveyor. Yeah, that's fine. But I want to do. That goes there, and then this goes here. And 
then can I just... I can't have my inventory and it open at the same time. That's cool. Um, but I have some steel. Can I just... Can I just... No. Nope. Okay. I probably misunderstand something, uh, but I'm just going to do, we're going to do two chests. This will be the simple answer for now. Like that, and like that. It's ugly, but it's temporary. It's fine. Uh, so I'm going to toss in some steel. And then we're going to go grab some titanium. And just and just toss it in there. And that operation, it's that I'm probably going to move that at some point, but I think this will get us going. So how much did I say we probably need like it's like 300? Is that going to be Cuz each should've, I should have written it down. Each tower is going to be 80. So that's 160 right there. And then 10 vessels going to be 100 plus another 100. So yeah, like 400 should be plenty, right? Let's do that. And that'll leave a little bit extra for if there's something else I'm forgetting. Probably need more steel over here too. Uh, but let's just do that. Because this takes like as much steel as titanium. It's as much steel as titanium. Okay, well, let's go grab some steel then. That we are at least making in, in significant quantities. Um, there should even be a nice big stack of it like right here, right? Yeah, uh, I'm just going to grab, I don't know, a thousand. That's more than I need. Is it really? It's blue cubes. It's OK. Once we get this going, I'm going to go check on what's what's holding up our blue cubes. Let's do that, and I'll keep some for me. And now, and now we're gonna work on that. Cool, perfect. You sit there and do that, please. Let's go check on what's going on with our research. Now we have blue cubes. It must be the yellows. Well. I see yellow sitting here and I see blue sitting here. So I guess we're we're limited by our reds right now. Interesting. Oh, and then I should do like I want to I want to prioritize two things. I want to un can I like lock one? No. Hmm. Whatever. Um, we're clearly, it's clearly the reds that we're, that we're slow on. Which are happening over here. And I bet it's going to be the hydrogen. Uh, cause we have, cause we have graphite going in just fine. Uh, but not the not the hydrogen. Okay, so we we're just needing more hydrogen. Getting input. We are inputting from here. This thing is not full. Getting there. 
Um, but we're also... I'm not using this hydrogen anywhere. Right? Yeah, we just we have a whole bunch sitting here. So I'm going to route a big old conveyor belt out this way. I guess we could do... Right, it's just it's this right here. So I want to hook up there. Uh, let's do down like this. I'm gonna go like That should help our red cubes. What are you looking forward to next? Uh, next holiday convention video game release? Uh, that's a good question. Holidays. Hmm. I don't really ever. I'm not. Like, holidays are cool and all, but I'm, I'm never like, ooh, yay, holidays. Um, what is this? This is plastic? Okay. Okay, so this should this should increase our throughput for red cubes quite a bit. Um, convention? That's a good question, too. The only convention that we really go to is, is PAX on a semi-regular basis, uh, but that's in the fall. So that's that's quite a ways away. That's like a September thing. Uh, we usually have a Comic Con in in the spring here, but we haven't gone to that in quite a while. Maybe we should maybe we should go to Comic Con one of these days. But those are fun. Um, video games. That's probably a longer list. Um, we're constantly getting rumors about about Elden Ring DLC. Um, so it's interesting to to see people kind of. Uh, getting hype and then disappointed for for things not happening with with Elden Ring. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to Elden Ring DLC. I'm I'm looking forward to um, Silk Song, the the Hollow Knight follow up. Oh, I really 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 want that. Um, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to be. Like, uh, Hollow Knight I have on Switch, right? And I don't have a capture card, so I haven't been able to stream Switch games. Look at this. This is going. This is going just fine. Um, I could even build some of these, right? Yeah. So I'm going to want... I'm going to want 20 thrusters. to because but but hollow knight came out in on steam as well so i'm hoping that silk song comes out on pc at the same time so that i can just stream it without needing to worry about a capture card um but i will absolutely be streaming silk song when that comes out hollow knight do you not know hollow knight hollow knight is amazing um do you have adventure mode thing yes uh Dif door fortress adventure mode um we're looking for in april last i heard um so i we will be doing that for sure day one um, never played Skyrim, but I find it interesting. I, I have played Skyrim. Um, it's okay. Maybe a hot take. Um, it's, it's okay. It's not bad. It's not one that I'm going to spend a lot of time streaming, though. That's for sure. Um, okay, so I, we already used all that titanium. My goodness. And all that steel? Is there... There's not much titanium sitting in here. It's all just steel. Okay. Um, Hollow Knight is a Metroidvania game. Um, it's a it's an indie game, right? Pretty sure. Um, let's start with. Let's start with ten. Let's start with like you know five ships worth of stuff. 
That is a hot take, refreshing, I guess. <laughs> That's fair. Um, Bethesda games are cool and all, but they've definitely uh, they've definitely settled into their formula, for better or worse, and you know, notoriously buggy things, uh, and and games that are kind of fun. Not like they're yeah. I've never had my mind blown off by by a uh, by a Bethesda game. They're usually just they're pretty good, right? They're very high production. They're very intricate and and deep and massive. But the funness isn't always there for me. That's just and that's just a me thing. There are plenty of people who totally love them, um, and no no. No, uh, no shade thrown there, but just for me, what I spend my time doing, it's usually not a Bethesda game. Um, but Hollow Knight, oh my gosh, I want to go back, like thinking about every time I think about, oh, I want to play Silk Song, I'm, I'm like, oh, maybe I should just go play. I should just play Hollow Knight again. I should. It's been a while. I should just play Hollow Knight again. Why am I not? Why am I not playing Hollow Knight right now? Um. If you just if you look up like any any video from it, you'll you'll see like from a like gameplay wise, it's it's, you know, amazing anyway. But like from a visual perspective, it is one of the most stunning visually game visually stunning games I have played in a very long time. Um, it's all it's all hand drawn. That's why it's taking forever to make Silk Song is because it's an indie team doing like a fully hand-drawn video game um it's it's gorgeous and they have a they have some uh high expectations to meet their follow-up um but it's a it's a fantastic uh it's a fantastic game um, I like the idea of role-playing open world game type games, but I've never taken to them since Old School RuneScape, which they wiped my account. Oh damn. And it's just nostalgia. I think I generally don't have time to commit to these games. I guess I play Minecraft to scratch that itch. That's fair. And yeah, that's um Skyrim is definitely a game to play if you have a lot of time to invest. But if it's like you have some time to invest. Um, oh, there's just a bunch of red cubes sitting here. We should we should grab all these red cubes. Um, like you'll you won't do anything. You won't get anywhere. Do those do those end up in my inventory? I think they just I think they just end up in there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna slam. That'll help. Those were just sitting there. Um, and then there's, I mean, we can clean all this up. Too. Look, we're, we're literally just waiting on this research at this point. Um, maybe I'll, I'll clean up some of our leftover spaghetti here. Um, this, this can all go away. This is no longer, this is no longer doing anything. Just reclaim all these, just reclaim all this stuff. Recycling is good. And it'll leave room for when we have to pack more random stuff in here. Uh, hollow, hollow. Um, yeah, I, I make that mistake th that I swip, swap that up frequently as well uh, with that game. Uh, okay, and then this is just a stranded stretch of magnets, right? This is going, this is going nowhere. Uh, do I have a bunch of room? I have some room. We'll just do that. Do that. That's fine. And then we have our factories here. I bet the yellow cubes are tasty. Don't eat the yellow cubes. <laughs> they're they're radioactive and probably other things. Also, hi. Um, we're we're talking about uh, games that we're excited for. Um, and JM was asking about Skyrim, and I was telling him how lukewarm my feelings are for it. And also talking about Hollow Knight and how we're excited for Silk Song. Um, 
um, if these control, oh, ran out of room. But that means I get superpowers, yes. Uh, yes, but not the kind that you want. It'd be like uh, the ability to, you'd have like invisible pee or something, just like something completely <laughs> worthless. <laughs> Hollow Knight on their hand is my favorite. Hollow Knight's amazing. Hollow Knight is fantastic. Um, just, yeah, and we're going to be waiting forever. And we're, you know, we're expecting, we're expecting Elden Ring DLC at some point. We'll see when it happens. I have all this just sitting here. Can I, I can't really squeeze it in. My, my drunk drawer area just keeps growing. Um, but if we wanted to make these work again, we would need iron, iron, right? And then circuit boards and gears, which are all over here. The gears are here. I'm just going to do... Gears can come out. Like so. Uh, and then it goes, those go there. But I finished Elden Ring already. Can't go back to it too much to do. It's true. You need to get your... You need to do your new game plus plus. Uh... But I mean, I mean, I I get it. But Elden Ring, Elden Ring captured my attention for quite a long time. I gotta say, by this is gonna, yep. Need to move that over. Uh, and then these are just gonna be in the way forever. is too full to be moving piles of junk around. What a mess. Can I dump any of this? I mean, I have a lot of bear belts on me. Um, never played Elden Ring. Fun to watch people play. Really enjoyed the game with the dying and coming back in Japan. Oh, uh, you mean Sekiro? Sekiro is also amazing. Can I make... Just do this. Make some bigger chests here. Just just make the... make the, Just spread the problem around a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna take... I take all of this, whoop, and then just plop. Right, and then I can. What's this button? No. Control click. That's what I'm looking for. Control. Mm, that's. Uh, if I do. No. Control right click. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Then I can <laughs> I can move that one, and then Control Right Click. There we go. So now I can just hold it all in my hands somehow. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Sekiro Sekiro is fantastic. Um, I'm sure that's what it says on the box. This is the dying and coming back game set in Japan, five stars. I mean, you're not wrong. Uh, I mean, it was basically sold to us as it's Dark Souls, but Japan themed. And we were all like, ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, so that's gonna go there. Uh, and then, and then what do you need? You need, you need circuit boards are happening over here. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to take circuit boards out. Right. Is this, is this smart? We will see. Uh, 
now we'll do, oops, like this. Don't really know what is coming out, Silk Song, if it's this here. I mean, we don't even have a date, right? I think we're, I think we're in a wait, wait and see territory for Silk Song. At least get that going back and look our research is almost done we're still we're still cranking through all of our iron production jeez i enjoy games that make dying part of the game even if it's only a slight nod to it like in borderlands with the reconstructors yeah that's true like where where you dying and coming back is is canon um like in um like bioshock bioshock did that well there we go there's our logistics and I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna start more yellow cube research because, because I think like everything we have right now, all we can do, that's so like the only stuff we have that we can do is like stuff I really don't care about right now. Oh, this, we care about that. Uh, and then we want these, but they take yellows. That takes yellows. It all takes yellows. Uh, we can do these. Combat drone damage. These, it's all yellow, yellow, yellow. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's call that good. Now, if I can make a pair of these, I need to grab our titanium. Oh, and now I have, <laughs> now I have yellow cubes in my inventory. just because I need to empty my inventory of more things. Uh, titanium, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, I'm gonna grab the rest of this. Uh, I, have, I have too much junk in here. There's, there's just too much junk here. What is this, thermal plants, whatever. use that. This is fine. Whatever. Okay. I want to make... I make two of these. I can do... So I can do two, two big stations. We need more processors. Oh dear. Do still have some silicon. We're gonna end up with like just the right amount. This is, oh, this is still connected, so let's disconnect this. Plug in our silicon, turn that into processors. And then, and then yeah, so then that will, that will get us. We're even making, we're already making two, so. Do I need more processors? I probably need more processors. Um, I'm gonna need 80 of that, which I will have. I'm gonna have to make a bunch of these, um, which I can make 20, but I need, I'm gonna need 40. Da, ba, da, ba, da. Um, but I, I have more of that stuff, so that's fine. That's just over here. I'm trying to think of what else is on my list. I have a I have a little list in our in our Discord, right? Um, games that I'm looking forward to. Hammer. There's another. I don't think there's anything else huge on there. Um, Silk Song and Elden Ring and, and Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode. Those are the big ones. need processors for for these so that's 10 processors per per ship oh my goodness hi creature
Slowly. Slowly processors. Okay, so then we're making we're making that stuff. Can I make two of these yet? Not quite. Well here, let's do let's do it like this. If I do one, I'm gonna be short that by by one. What is it? Is it the gotta be these. Gotta be the turbines. Oh, I'm gonna run out of power again. And there we go. Yeah, look, there's so many here. Uh, just grab, like... Just grab some. Thank you. Okay, so then we have... We have one, and we can make one. Perfect. Now we will have two interstellar logistics stations. Now we just need to make the... The robots, the, the ships. Um, and this says we can make three with what we have, and we're going to be short processors. Going to be the processors that gets us forever. Now, what are you doing there? Um, yeah, let's just let's just use the rest of it, I guess. We're going to go back very soon. Once we have all this stuff built, we're going to go back to the other planet, and we'll bring back a, a good a good chunk of stuff as well. Because I think we hold way more than a, than a logistics vessel does right now. Uh, right, these are the small ones. So we're making three. I love to make... I'm going to make another three. How are you finding Dyson Sphere coming back to it? I still love it. I mean, um, the new the new combat stuff has has made things a little a little bit spicy, not not overwhelmingly so, but we have had two very close calls, exceedingly close close calls, irresponsibly close calls, I should say, um, but not like upending the entire strategy of everything. So all of the knowledge that I had before is still working just fine. So I'm really enjoying that. Um, so that's going to put us at six. So then, and then we're just short the titanium. If I can, if I can just get ten made, that'd be fantastic. Okay. And then, and then, yeah, I'll just grab this, and then I make four. I can make four more. Perfect. And I'll have to make my own processor, but that's fine. That's fine. So now we just need to set a spot for our for our materials to come in from off the planet. Um, and, and obviously the first instance of that is going to be our titanium and silicon. So we're going to be wanting to smelt those things as they come in. I'm going to put it over by all of our other smelting stuff on this side of the planet. And we're over here, right? Because we're, we're smelting here, we're smelting here. I think I'm gonna put in a big... I think I'm gonna put our big station in... like in the middle here. Um, I do want to... I don't want to cover up our half a million of iron here. So maybe I'll put it like here. Give ourselves a little bit of room. Look, look how big this thing is. Um, yeah, I'm just going to plop it down here. And then I'm going to do a handful of smelters, right? Hooray. 
Thank you. I, I want to leave. I'm, we're gonna have to start uh, mining that because I want to get. I want to use it. Um, but yeah, we'll have a pair for titanium and a pair for silicon. We have to make a whole bunch more stuff and more more power. Need more iron. God. Fortunately, looks like we're. We're, look at all that iron. We have iron. We have made a bunch of iron. Thank goodness. Uh, so I want to make a handful of those. Um, I'm going to need more smelters, right? I need 27 more smelters. Let's go, I can go grab the coils. I want to go on a little grocery trip. I think my favorite game is War in the North. Hmm. I think that's one of those games that I have and have bought on sale, but I don't think I've actually played it. Um, I know it's a Lord of the Rings game. Very glitchy mess of a Lord of the Rings game. Yes, excellent. We love glitchy messes, don't we? Thirty smelters. Uh, we need some chests. Uh, and we need more more conveyor belts. Those are are right here. Luckily, so many conveyor belts. Oh, and sorters. If I became a millionaire, I'd pay someone to fix it. Fix and add in all the stuff that's half made that they rushed out. Interesting. That'd be fun. You could probably find someone to do it, too. Um, still good, still fun. Very gentle with the lore. That's fair. Um, I've been watching... I've only caught a couple of videos, so I don't remember his name. There's a YouTuber who... Like, I don't, I don't know if it's the core thing that he does, but the couple of videos that I've seen are, um, he will be looking at, like, you know, an older game, like, um, like the original Worms is the first one I saw. Older games, and, uh, older games that no longer work on modern hardware is what he's looking at. So he goes in and, like, he goes, like, down into the assembly uh, level of the code to try and figure out what part is breaking like he can get the the like this the launch menu to come up but you click on the play thing and it's not working so he'll go into assembly and and go like oh this button is linked to this uh this memory address but the but the api for windows doesn't work that way anymore so he like patches individual lines of code to make the game work again just to see like how hard it is to actually play these games again and it's, I don't know, if you're, it's interesting if you're into that sort of thing, uh, which I know not everyone is, but I find it really interesting. So there, there's probably people who, like, if if it's a beloved game, someone would be motivated to, uh, to, you know, go in and fix the whole dang thing. Uh, I'm gonna make sure all these have power, then we hook it up to power like this, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Um, and then here, this has like six stations, which is cool. And then the other part is that, so we can put our, can put our big ships in. I guess I'm gonna put, 
our first 10 ships I'm going to use for the station that's out there. And then and then we'll make more more for here and I'll put them into this side. Um, so I won't I won't do this quite yet, but we can also put in um, the planetary bots because then this will distribute to the other planetary logistics stations. I used to love worms. Worms is great. Lego minifigure has a curing aid. That's cool. And the planet has nice trees. Yes. This does. Yeah. They're like they're slightly animated. They're, you know, obviously just a bunch of 2D planes kind of wafting in the wind. But from a distance, they look they look just fine, right? Yeah, from out here. Yeah, those look like trees. Anyway, um, we are going to import silicon ore and titanium ore. Um, so this is going to local supply, remote demand, local supply, remote demand. Right. And then we're going to say this, this is the silicon side. Paste, paste, paste. And then this will be our titanium side. It's only the tree tier list. I yes, absolutely. Give me give me a tree tier list. Well, I'll totally do that. <laughs> uh, OK, and then we're going to have titanium ore come out this way and then go like that. And then. I mean, for that matter, so let's do like. This is titanium ore coming out. Morning. Power grid is excessive. Oh, I'm sure it is. And facilities can't operate normally. Build more power generation yeah. facilities. Oh. Power grids are Woof. Okay. We're gonna have to fix that next, obviously. And power um, but I'm also gonna say that this so we're gonna put in the titanium ingots and the silicon ingots. And it's going to also local supply. And I guess we can also remote demand from what we have made on our other plant so far. Um, but mainly, I'm just going to have this just go right back in, and then that can supply to the rest of our planet. And that saves the need for another, um, another station. Do like that. And then here's the part where I regret my placement of things. Uh, this is silicon coming out. Right, yeah, and then and that goes there, and then silicon ingots like this. Maybe this will work. And then silicon ore like this. This is gonna be this is gonna be exactly perfect. Like that, and then the ingots coming back out like this. Look at that. Of course, this is just going to sit here and do nothing for a bit. And it goes like that. Oh, come on. Does silicon even form into ingots in real life? Uh, probably not. I mean, it depends on what you call an ingot. Because in real life, you purify it and you turn it into a gigantic monocrystal, right? When, you, when you're making processors and stuff, you, you turn it into one giant crystal, like a, like a physically, like you, like you have those big disks. Those are single crystals of silicon, and then you, and then you etch into them and then snap them into their little individual processors. So I don't know if you'd call that an ingot. But in, to be fair, I'm not sure this game calls them ingots. 
for being for being yeah it's just called high purity silicon and it's in a rectangular shape uh so i'm i guess i'm lumping them in with all the other ingots but the game isn't technically calling them ingots there you go um our power we're just straight up off cool um <laughs> that's gonna be fun to deal with how do i how do i fix that i want to do i want to go to our other planet and get that going first i was gonna do power next it was next on the list i swear um i could just drop down a whole bunch of uh wind turbines i guess i do have some turbines in in our storage it's not gonna be anywhere near enough to do anything though Right, where's here? 18 wind turbines? That'll help, right? Just plop them down. This amounts to like Nothing on the scale of the power that we're needing right now, but <laughs> it's it is energy that is just there. Yeah, 300 kilowatts. And we're what are we needing? We're needing. But I heard the yellow ones are candy lemon flavored. No, put it down. Drop it. <laughs> Hi, welcome in. Uh, uh, I. I think always like splits names into two things. Reclaven. Hi, welcome in. Um, we our our power just shut down. We're needing we're needing 240 mega uh, megawatts, yeah. And we're making none of it. We're not even turned on right now. Ugh. I want to I want to convert all of our I want to convert everything to a different power source, but that was like next on the list. Uh, how do I, how do I jumpstart this? Or do I? I think I'm going to go, I'm going to ignore this for the moment. <laughs> Against better judgment. Uh, I'm just going to drop off a bunch of this stuff. We're going to go to our other planet and drop down our, our logistics station. I, yeah, there are our bots. Oh, I should I bring power to uh, that's like all I'm gonna need, right? Uh, we can bring I should bring some sorters probably. Some conveyor belts definitely. That's all I'm gonna do. And we're gonna do that. We're gonna draw, we're gonna plop down interstellar logistics, some drones, and we're gonna we're gonna start having our stuff come back. Um, and I have some fuel. I have a little bit of fuel. These are all these are all just straight up out. <laughs> I've I've really done it, haven't I? Okay. Um, I think we can get to our. I think we can get to our planet and back with with the fuel we have on hand. Um, I just want to solve. I just want to solve one thing at a time. If that's too much to ask, I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna leave my home planet turned off for just a moment, so I can go take care of this. Um, but yeah, so once we get this dropped down, then we're going to have vessels that can transport goods between our planets here. And that's going to that's going to make a lot of things easier because we're getting to the point where the titanium and the silicon is like involved in everything that we want to do. Um, so having actual 
continual access to it is going to be very important here. Fortunately, we've already kicked the dark fog off of both of our both of these planets. And these are the only two planets we have a presence on so far. And of course, there's our, our inner planet and the, the hive. But uh, Scorchidia, yeah, Scorchidia up here um, does have does have a dark fog presence for sure. See, this one only has 100,000 coal on it. Ridiculous. This one, the inner planet probably has um, some like magma stuff that we could do ge geothermal power on, I think. I mean, we haven't been there, so I don't know for sure, but um, inner planets usually have something like that. I don't want power. I'm still okay on power. Current mining operations are over here. This planet's either, like running at least, so well, that's a good thing. Okay, so then I'm just gonna plop it down here. Our power here is like the power here is fine. We have a single geothermal vent going and then like this a tiny tiny hole thing going and that's all we need on this planet for now um yeah right so this and this is like the only silicon vein on this planet in our system this is all the silicon in our entire system right there titanium's a little bit more abundant but silicon my goodness so, there's that, and then I'm going to plop in those, and I'm going to plop in 10 of these, even though they're not going to do anything for now, but that'll, that'll have them there. And then we're going to have silicon and titanium, and silicon and titanium, and we're going to supply a local, local demand and then remote supply That's how that's going to work. And then we need to plug it in. Now it's going to sit there and charge very slowly. And then we just need to hook things up. So we have we have a whole dang chest of silicon here. Thank goodness. Uh, so then this is just going to go like that and then I want to grab this ore as well I want to make I want to disconnect our um our smelting I'm gonna do like this All right and then the ore will go in there as well do this we prob probably want to make faster ones here no, I need need more tier threes oh well um, but that's fine this will this will start loading up and then once it reaches some sort of threshold, uh, minimum load of vessels, 100%, so it's clear I can change that, but I'm going to let them load up like that. 
And then same thing here. I want titanium ore. Like that. And then the ingots. I'll just go like this. Oh, the there we go. One of these can be here too, at least. That'll that'll help a little. have the stuff on me to make tier three sorters, do I? Nope. Not even a little. That's fine. Cool. Now this is gonna load up. We've already we've already sent ships out. Look at that. Um, I think we can even see them. Yeah look at that. We've sent three logistic vessels out to our other planet. And they are hauling, they're hauling our stuff. This is just going to happen now. And our power is still f fine. No, we need... These towers take so much power. It's ridiculous. Um, it is charging, so I think... Once it charges, it'll do a little bit better. We see that we went from, like, having five times as much power as we needed to, like, needing five times more. Look at that. That's from plopping down one tower. Holy cow. But even the generation capacity went down. That's kind of strange. Um, but that's fine. This will sit here and and be fine for a while. Uh, powers over here. Yeah. See, this is really, this is really struggling, isn't it? Is it my, is it my sorters? It'll help a little. But it's such a small amount of coal. It doesn't, it don't do nothing. Okay. Um, let's, let's go back home before we run out of power. And we get stuck on a other planet while everything's turned off. That would be bad. Uh, so I'm going here. Uh, yes. Okay. Now all we need to do is completely redo all of our all of our power. <laughs> there we go. Interstellar logistics. The first time you've used logistics vessel to transport high purely silicon from four to three. Unicalhai, that's our system, I think. Uh, and of course, I can't click on that until until we land again, or if I remember the button. We're going to pass a ship. You can even see the ships out in space. That's so cool. Or at least where it is. It's it's so small. Oh, you can see it. Yeah, look. Bye. <laughs> that kind of continuity, I really, really love about this game. Like we're we're sending logistics between our, our planets, and the, the vessels are actually literally out there. They're actually moving things. They're not just like taking off from a planet and disappearing and then landing on the other planet. They're moving through space. It's so cool. Okay. Try not to get sucked into our gas giant there. There we go. 
Oof. Okay, cool. We're back home. Now we just have to deal with this. So what are we gonna do? How are we gonna fix this? I know I want I know what I want to do in the long term, but that's not gonna it's not gonna help us in the immediate term. We're gonna have to turn our plant back on in order to make the long-term solution. Is this... There's some fuel here. I'm just gonna grab... I'm gonna grab all of this. Literally all of our fuel right here. I mean, I could just plop down some... Some power plants here. Just as a stopgap? I mean, anything I'm gonna do right now is a stopgap. I just need things to turn back on. Um, the other thing I can do... I mean, it's still... It's still receiving power, right? Like, we're still... We're still powering our, uh, all of our stations, which is interesting. Like this, it's, yeah, it is charging. So maybe I just crank this like way down. So it's only, only, con only consuming 30 megawatts. That's better. That turned things back on. These things are so dang power hungry. Oh, only temporarily. <laughs> Okay, well, let's just do that to a couple of these other ones. These ones aren't quite as bad, but still. Go from 12 to 6. I'm going to want to turn these back up once we actually have power. Uh, but I think that's going to be a minute. All right, so now we're, now we're at 10%. Yay! Yay. Um, I'm even gonna... Let's cancel research, because that... All the research stuff is probably taking up a bunch of power as well. Let's crank some more of these down. This means they'll they'll ship... They'll, they'll send their bots out less frequently, but I think that's fine right now. Um, we just... I want to... I want to switch over our entire power situation. Ridiculous. Oh, I need to get rid of these. There. Now, so that puts us at 20%. So just just cranking down the tower power draw gave us 20% of our power back. Holy cow. Um so okay, so the, the, the factory's back on. We can we can work with this at least a little bit. We're, we're sitting at some power. So, going forward, our power situation is going to be solar sails. After these, which require a thing that we're making and a thing that we're not making, and then we need to launch them, which are, which are those. Um, but first we need to make, we need to make a factory that's making the sails. That's, that's step number one, uh, which means we need to make these, and we are making both of those things. So that's a good start. Um, the other, while I'm, while I'm thinking of, oh, here they are. We're just going to come right back here. Um, I want to make sure there's all our research stuff. The, the titanium and silicon coming in. Look how big these stations are. These are ridiculous. Um, I want to make sure that it's that we're doing that properly, right? Um, I mean, this is all this is working. Um, but then I think so. The silicon silicon is now on the network, but we're not using it for anything. 
um, but the titanium was over here. So I just want to make sure that we don't actually use all of our titanium uh, for something that I don't want to use it for, because power is such a thing right now. So I think, I think as it is, it's probably just going to be making um, titanium crystals for forever. I'm going to put a limit on that. Okay, so then, yes, you are demanding titanium, and that has a max, and then the, the titanium crystal has a max, and then these chests, these chests should also have a max. Okay, that'll be fine. So we are making titanium crystals, but we're not going to make a million titanium crystals. Yeah, satisfied with that. And we're smelting silicon. And we're importing silicon. And that's going to be great in the long run. Um, okay, so then here's our prisms. Here we're making, we're smelting glass, we're making prisms. Should probably move our smelting operation over to the everything smelters, but uh, not right now. Let's get this, let's get this going at least. Um, and then... And then circuit boards, right? We're making circuit boards here. And they are they are on the logistics. Um, we could we can we could move them over here, right? And make make our solar sails around here. I think that would work. Um, cause that's just two ingredients in an assembler, right? Uh, yep. Or no, we're making, we're making the... Whatever's, the these. Photon combiner. Which is also two things in an assembler. And then that plus that. Which is also gonna need a, <laughs> a station. Oi. Oi. Can I make... The simplest way to do this, there's there's some spots here as well. Maybe that's what we do, and then that'll change at some point. Oh, how much of this is going to be band-aids? Because that means I need to bring in... One thing and then two things for that. But one of them's right here. Let's do this. Let's do assembler two. Uh, somewhere. I'm leaving. I'm leaving this space as much as possible for the launchers, and you'll see why. Let's do like this. I'm going to do the photon combiners here. Leave room for something else. Uh, so the circuit boards will come in here. Demand just some. And then, yeah, to crank that down, please. And then these are just going to get conveyed, which I need more of. Uh, where's... Yeah. I want like... I want all of this, don't I? That was... There's a... there we go. That one. That. There we go. We still need some conveyor belts. And 
then just a handful more assemblers. And these will make photon combiners. This is for circuit boards, like that. And this. I guess I'm just gonna do like this. Right? <laughs> I guess. So then this will make our photon combiners, and then we need that plus another thing for the solar sails. And that other thing is not even plugged in, is it? It's not even plugged in. Being made here, and there's no, there's just no station anywhere nearby. Very, very cool. You have room, you have room. So we're just gonna have to... Hey, look, the solution is more spaghetti. Who would have thought? God. Uh, of course. There we go. So now you are that and you supply. We'll crank you down. Efficient. Okay. So now we will have access to the things as as slowly as though we're oh it's just because we're it's it's slow because our power is a thing. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave it. Gonna leave it. Gonna leave it. It's temporary anyway. Everything is temporary. Um, so then I need to bring it in from over here. We're gonna demand again. Just bring it. Bring it down. And then I want to make another assembler two, and we'll we'll make this nearby, and like this. I don't know what like which things are gonna need be doubled up at some point, what things I can just pack in. I don't know, lots of question marks still. 
I remember like vaguely how a lot of this works, but not like the actual like like how much of the things we need. Just kind of like rel there's so there's some relative numbers in my head, but not actual quantities. Um, but I'm gonna take this and go across. Um, I guess you need power. Or it's it's working on it. Okay. Okay. And then the other thing. This comes. Oh, lack of item again. The good thing we're making these. Finally getting through this gigantic stockpile of them. <laughs> okay. And this goes there. So now we can make solar sails. And then we can begin! We can begin the swarm! Which is step one to the sphere. You need to be making sails. Oh, and then you need to actually <laughs> hook up to that. Okay. So now we ha we are making sails. So now we need to be able to launch the sails which we do with a giant gun. Look, I can make five with what's on me already. And the rest just needs steel. Oh, I need a bunch. I need a bunch of things. OK, hold on. Let's go grab some processors. I'm not so worried about using our processors now that we have silicon coming in. In fact, I should even grab a bunch of silicon and feed that into our processor maker. Once we have our power situation sorted, then we're gonna like, we're gonna make a pass over this holding planet and make everything look better. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm gonna grab, I don't know, a thousand silicon, which I cannot hold. Um, I can do, yeah, I'm gonna plop, uh, nope, not here. This goes over here. That goes in there. Uh, I don't need all this titanium either. Uh, then I'll grab some silicon. And we'll fly that over. Old fashioned logistics. So then this is all just going to go there. And that'll make us a nice stack of processors. I think there's there's none sitting here right now. Um, what else did we need? Well, these things. Which one are those? <laughs> okay, fine. So many things require coal. We, we need to get off coal power just because we need to use the coal for other things. Just ignoring the fact that it's less good. Okay, so then yeah, grab me. Just grab all of it, actually. 
So I'm working on these, which I can make a bunch of now. And they take they take ten each. So if I make forty, let's do. Try to make six guns. Let's try six guns. Planetary base. Are they are they here? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Is that a new spot? That's a new spot. They landed on our planet again and made a new base. Excuse you. Where where was the old one? There. We they still haven't they never retook the old one. They just landed again. Those bastards. Okay, we need to deal with that fast. Fortunately, we can. Um, I'm just going to snag these while we're here. Um, do I have another? I think I have another signal tower. I think I have a signal tower made over here. But if we if we do that, then we can make another geothermal station. And that'll help with our power. Thank you, Dark Fog. Uh, yeah, two signal towers. I can I can hold on to that whenever. I have do I have power? I have some power. Let's just do that. Okay. Those bastards. So that means they could come back to our other planet too. Here I was thinking that we were just safe on these two planets, like permanently. But no, no such thing. And fortunately, we have power pretty close. Um, we're going to want to come out from this side. This will get us closer. Bring it on, Dark Fog. This is my planet. This is my planet. I have just, just barely enough power to deal with you. I hope. Well, I can deal with, I, can, I have power, I have missiles on me at least. Yeah, I, I have plenty of missiles. So that will be fine. Um, and I want a signal tower, like here. Missiles incoming. Yeah, here we go. Perfect. Look at that. You can't do nothing. I have so many missiles on this planet. You cannot hope. You cannot hope to overwhelm me. So long as I actually have power. Yeah, okay, so then I want to make another geothermal station, which requires those. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to go grab those, because I think this is, this is fine. That's all fine. Our missiles will take care of that. And then I, I definitely want to be able to plop down a a thing on that geothermal well before they can take it back. Of course, it's on the other side of the planet. Oh my god. Here we go. Gimme. And then you. Yep, I can make one and that's all I need. 
core destroyed. Perfect. I didn't even make it to level two. I made it to level one very quickly, though. That's kind of disturbing. I wonder if they started at level one. Because they were level two when we beat them before. Okay. Perfect. So now... Uh... Power. Geothermal. Flam. Look at that. And that's just gonna... That's just gonna... That's just gonna. Cool. So that means... So I... Yeah, we need to make sure we're still safe. I know our, our entire planet is not covered in, in signal towers. Uh, we should probably... Address that someday. Uh, but, right now... need more processors which are way over here see how much stuff is out in space <laughs> oh it's terrifying uh where am i over here I want to make I want to make four more I need more steel and this need two more perfect okay so that'll get us started oh boy and then we're gonna have to be able to collect it as well So here's our pole, right? So. So we have two things that we're needing to do now that are require line of sight to our star. And we have one pole that is just like worthless like three quarters water and the other quarter is coal vein. Um, Cause we need, you need like the, the launcher needs line of sight on the star in order to launch a solar sail out. But then we need ray receivers, which we haven't, we haven't made them yet. We can make more of these. We'll get there. That's where our actual um, power comes in. That also needs line of sight with the sun. Uh, oh. say of course there's all this coal right in the way all our resources are right in the way of everything on this planet an em rail ejector you've taken the first step in building a dyson sphere sure have Use it to eject solar sails into space to form dyson swarm you must supply solar sails to each EM rail ejector and configure target orbit for solar sails. You can also copy orbit data from an ejector and paste to another. Can I make two more? I sure can't. Click the Dyson okay, so this will this will get us started in to open the Dyson sphere a very basic sense. Customize for your Dyson but the sooner we get it doing something, the better. So we're gonna have solar sails coming out here. Okay. 
Uh, and then I'm gonna go. You can just go in, right? I thought. Or is this a is this a sorter situation? Forget how these work. Look, we have. I mean, we have some. We have some stacks of sales here. So that part's working at least. This, uh, yeah, okay, geez. So then, of course, that's like awful. So we're gonna wanna come in on the inside, like this. Barely fine, okay. And then yeah, it's just gonna do a whole a holding circle. And then these get loaded into the cannons. receiving power from that for real for real okay too close yeah and like they all need their own clearance as well So, they have power, they're getting loaded with solar sails, now, now we get to this interface, look at this. This is our, this is our Dyson Sphere interface. Um, so for, we're making a solar, we're making a Dyson Swarm. And really it's just, yeah, we're gonna have an orbit. And that's gonna be fine. Um, by all the defaults are gonna be the are gonna be fine for now. Um, yeah. Okay. Star luminosity 0.97, which is like mediocre as far as I'm aware. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna say set these to orbit number one. So now as long as these have access to their sails and line of sight on the sun, they're going to launch those solar sails out to the star.
You can see that. Mm -hmm. You can see that happening. Blam, blam, blam. Yeah, look at that. And then there they go. And they're going to start and then they they like do a little, you know, retrograde burn. And then now they're going to be in orbit around the star. So they're just they're just out there. Um, the thing about solar sails, if they're just on their own, if they, they don't have a structure, they don't have like an actual Dyson sphere to become part of. If they're just in a swarm configuration like this, they have a lifespan. They don't last forever. If they're part of a Dyson sphere, they do last forever. But if they're just a swarm, these will start to decay. Um, and we'll, yeah, life distribution of solar sails. So these, they, you know, this is, this will change over time, but, um, so we're, our, our swarm here already has a capacity of two, two and a quarter megawatts. The trick is getting it. <laughs> we have, now we have to actually get the power. Um, cause right now it's doing literally nothing for us. We're literally just shooting value into the sky. Um, but we need to make these ray receivers, which means we need more silicon. Make those. I'm actually going to grab, going to grab a handful of these while we're here. Of course, that's all going to use power, right? Uh, hopefully not too much. Okay, and then look, we just have a whole bunch of silicon sitting here. Um, and to make those, I need more turbines. To those we're making at least. Grab them from over here. Okay, I can make one. What do I need? Am I short on magnets? I can get magnets. even need do I still have them here I still have a bunch here Someday we'll get the actual like drone logistics going and that'll help keep our our inventory stocked for these kinds of things. But I think that's going to be a little bit down the line. No, not this one. This one. And this is like all getting used as well. Oh my goodness. There we go, now I can make five more. Perfect. That'll take a minute, but that's fine. So now I'm gonna go back up there. I'm really gonna try to fit them in there too. I'm gonna get real crowded here. And again, this is, it's all temporary. Like literally everything's a stepping stone to another thing. In the long run, I won't even be collect I won't even be collecting power from the Dyson sphere on this planet. Long run, the Dyson sphere won't even be on this star, pretty sure. We're just, but we're going to be charging batteries somewhere else and importing them. But right now, right now we just need power of some kind. Um, 
and these are going to be... This is going to get crowded. And I can do... Out here. And again, we're going to get some real gnarly power fluctuations at... Like when the, the gas giant is between us and the sun. So that's going to be cool. I guess maybe I can... Can I put like one in the middle here? Does that help? Night, night. Night, night. Have a good night. Uh, thanks for... Thanks for hanging out. You can receive high energy rays from the dice here we go. And directly transmit them into the power grid. Um, However, have a good week. I'll see you on Thursday, hopefully. The uh, but then we'll be back to beavers. Greater input power and we're making power. Look at this. We already have three megawatts coming in. Continuously running it. Enjoy melting down mercury. Yeah, exactly. We're that's like that's that's coming up shortly. We're gonna be, we're gonna smelt mercury. Um. So then, if we look at our power, we're we're needing 180 megawatts, and this is currently giving us four. Um. But one one thing about ray receivers in particular. Um, you see this continuously receive stat here. Um, so the longer that a ray receiver receives rays continuously, it becomes more efficient. So you can see like the, the, the megawatts of this one ray receiver is slowly going up. And that's because of this continuous continuously receive thing. Um, if no rays are received, progress will decline rapidly, rapidly, so, you know, that's going to happen. Uh, but, that's also, that's going to be how it works right now. Um, yeah, look, we already have a whole, we have a whole dang ring of solar sails out there already. Can I cram? Can I cram more in there? Maybe the maybe this needs to go on the outside. Uh, I can too close to rail projector. Oh, I could do like this. I can I can get another grouping in here. do like this of course I'm gonna have to pave over So now our power is at 50%. That's better. Let's see, here's our, you can see our gas giant here. We're just gonna have like several days at a time where we're we're just gonna not have power with this setup. So that means we're gonna we're gonna wanna go take over this planet somewhat soon. That's gonna be a whole other thing. Probably that's not gonna happen today. 
but we should be... Ideally, we would be receiving our rays down there and then shipping batteries back. But also, like, how far away we... How far away are we from warp technology so we can actually get to another star? That's the next question. And also this. Um, this is... This is what lets us charge and discharge batteries. Deposit surplus power from the power grid into an empty accumulator. Accumulators of batteries. To charge it or do the opposite. So let's let's research this for sure. And then this is these are Dyson Sphere components. Um, and then there's there's this power source as well. Deuterian, Deuterian, Deuterian. Um. Which is not, I mean, it's good, but I'd rather just do batteries. I'd rather just do batteries. What is this one for? Adding hydrogen and coal to refined oil, so during the process of reformation, greater quantity of refined oil can be produced. Okay. Kind of unnecessary. And then explosives. The main thing is needing... What's it even called? It needs... It might be something we can just harvest from, from here, if I remember. No, just hydrogen and fire ice. I mean, our power, it's doing better. It's slowly going up. I mean, that's, 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 we're getting there. We're getting there. Um. Hey, we just need more, just need more of everything. Making more land for more things to be here is like gonna be really resource intensive. So what's the what's the next step? What's the next I wanna get power good enough at least. I forget what it takes to make this. Well, this is this is a hydrogen fuel rod, so that's just hydrogen and titanium. We could do that. That wouldn't be too bad. Uh, this other thing is one level up from that. But where do we get that? Room. Oh, it's this. That's right. That's right. You turn hydrogen into deuterium with a, a very energy intensive process, is what that is. So maybe, but we can harvest hydrogen directly. So maybe we're going to make some hydrogen fuel rods. And we'll have that supplement the solar sails until we're like fully on batteries. That's, I think that's a plan. That's a, that's a thing I can do. Cause we have titanium and we have, we have a giant ball of hydrogen sitting right next to us. This is basically all hydrogen. This is just, they don't give you an amount of hydrogen. It's the rate that you can collect it at. It's just an infinite amount of hydrogen. Um, not to mention fire ice, which is useful for other things. 
but these interstellar logistics stations also double as or no they don't double as it's a different research isn't it it's this one orbital collector which requires more stuff and 1200 yellow cubes oh no Should work on it. Um, geez, it's just, it's all. It's all kind of not great. I mean, there's, see, it, it's going up, it's gotten. So even out just says 1.8 megawatts. Are we harvesting it all already? 26 megawatts. What does this mean? Requested power 132 megawatts. Dyson Sphere. Dyson Swarm power generation 26. So we're already requesting more from our swarm than we're making. Uh, the shell is making nothing because we don't have one. Power intercepted by dark fog hives. 180 kilowatts. Oh. That's interesting. They can leech our power? They can leech our power? Those bastards. Okay. But that but what this tells me is that we are... We are harvesting all of our power from our swarm with these, right? One. Requested power. Yeah. Is that what I'm seeing? We're only getting maybe 10. And we're getting like 10 megawatts in. But I think, I mean, our, our Dyson Swarm will slowly gain more power as we get more sales launched. So yeah, I think that's fine. In theory, this is slowly going up, right? Slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay, well. There's no use charging batteries because we're we're gonna be at a deficit for a long time. this for now and then we'll oh but I need that for that of course of course goodness okay so that's gonna be a lot of yellow cubes but they're going I mean our research is going look at all this I see a lot of cubes here yeah look at that there's even some cubes stranded way over here, right? I'm and I'm hesitant to like, like I want to make a lot of more things, right? But I'm hesitant to make too many more things while we're still so power deficient. Because that's just going to make it worse. Do I just get more coal going? That's just that's awful. Just making more and more coal stuff. 
isn't going to get us anywhere. We could, we could upgrade the efficiency of the miners. 10% uh, mining speed. That's a thousand cubes on its own. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Hey, look, a thousand solar sails. Sweet. The number of your solar sails has grown, and a Dyson swarm has formed around the star. You should be able to see it clearly now. The Dyson swarm can constantly generate electricity. You need to build a rate like this too. to obtain this energy. Every ejected solar sail has a regular service life. Keep ejecting solar sails to maintain the power output of the Dyson swarm. So we can upgrade the efficiency of our ray receivers, and we can upgrade how long the solar sails last. So let's do both of those as well. That'll that'll help. We even do wow. Do quite a bit before we need more cubes. And that takes oh. That's going to take purple cubes. When do we get warp? Where does the warp come from? Uh, strange matter. This is part of it, right? Uh, gravitate this one. Space warper and graviton lenses. Oh, it's going to be a whole thing. And those are for green cubes. Yep. Oh, and these. I forgot about these. These are kind of cool. Oh, here we go. This is the better way to do it. This is what you do. A particle collider. So this collected from gas giant orbit. Yeah, maybe it's like it's like every percentage of hydrogen you get, you also get some deuterium when you collect it from a gas giant. So that should be a thing we do. Let's say, let's cue that up as well. Yeah. And that'll, that's going to take a minute, but that's going to be, I think that's going to be the next thing we do. Um, I'm also going to go to the restroom real quick because my goodness. Uh, but I think, I think we're making good progress. Or at least we're researching things again, at the very least. Uh, but I'll be right back. Back. 
Uh, well, surely there's something I can do while waiting for this research to finish, right? There's still... There's still so much spaghetti to deal with. I don't want to... <laughs> make our power situation worse. Did I... Did I ever research taller things? There's... So we can go up to... It doesn't tell me the total. Can I? I can. Let's just do that. That'll take a little bit more power, but that's just faster research, realistically. If they can be fed fast enough. Maybe it's trying. <laughs> Maybe we just need better, better sorters. Which I don't have on me. Or, I mean, maybe we get drones going, but I bet that's gonna take a bunch of power as well. I have tier one, or I guess mark one, conveyor belts and sorters being made here, but we're not making mark two or three. And that wouldn't take down, that wouldn't take too much power because it's like a, it, I mean, they kind of just do a bunch and then sit there for a while. I probably want to do it somewhere else though. takes that, that takes those, that takes that, that takes that. And then the logistics bots, that isn't too bad. I just had to make a bunch of these. Logistics distributor. Need iron and that. <laughs> We're still. What are we using all this iron for? This is going into circuit boards, which we are using. We're using our circuit boards. And motors. Oh, we probably don't need that many motors. Whoops, that's fine. Because uh, then this is, yeah, this is limited. Because it's also, there's also a bunch in there. That'll help, but we are legitimately using the, the circuit boards for all the processors. And here's where our, our bots are going. Okay, that all seems fine. Processors are... Well, because they're not hooked into the network, are they? Are they? Oh, uh, we could do that. We could say silicon. Needs its own thing. Needs its own thing. We need silicon coming in here. We need circuit boards coming in here. I was going to make circuit boards here. But if we did that, then we would need uh, iron and copper. Plus, we're making circuit boards elsewhere anyway, so I'm going to say circuit boards aren't going to happen here. Do just do that, right? Yeah. 
What's all this? This is all... This is for... This is for copper. Which was in here, but is no longer. Yeah, look. Well, there's still... There's still copper in here. Why are you not... Oh, we've used all of this. Doot. Doot. Uh, and then I can say Hopper comes out here and goes like that. That'll at least use the copper. We'll have a whole bunch of steel here, so it's this is gonna keep staying here and doing that. Uh, so ideally, this would be importing circuit boards and silicon and copper and then exporting processors I don't know if the the semi get conductors get used there's some other things not too much it's mostly the processors and then the processors get used for a lot of things let's plop down a let's plop down a thing need more steel Processors. Just one. Just the one. And then yeah, we'll just have we'll have processors going. Because now that we have silicon coming in for real, then we could just make processors on like on. Not, not just making them by hand every once in a while. So this is going to request copper. Bring down his power. Uh, I'm just going to request circuit boards. By request, I mean demand, I guess. ships here. Um, I could even take, can I do this? Can I grab? And then plop? Yeah, how about that? How about that? Let's pull this up. 
this will be the circuit boards. Uh, I want you to request silicon. Of course. Of course. Demand. And this is the copper. Silicon and copper. And I'll just let's just pair this up. Why not? say this goes this goes over to our ship facility but then it's also going to that that's fine I'm just gonna go straight in there processors that it supplies. And these are all, yeah, these are all pretty limited. Not too bad. Now, as far as our planetary gas giant exploitation goes, we're gonna need. I wish I could like hover over those things. Cause I Is the big one or the small one. I. We need the big one. Yeah, I think we need the big one. Okay, so in order to do this, we need to make, well, we need to make accumulators. That's its own thing. Buildings or components? Kind of both. This. Here you are. Oh boy. We should make these. We should have something making these. Because we're going to start needing a lot of those. that we're at like 80 percent power cool 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 very cool okay i'm liking that um and this is all this is all garbage right there's still there's still some silicon in here
There we go. Cool. One of things. Whatever. Oh, did all that go away already? The, <laughs> the litter goes away too fast. That's... That's... That's too fast. Um, and then there is a bunch of this in there. Crystallized silicon, is that what that is? Yeah, crystal silicon. Um, that's gonna have to move. That's gonna have to move. That's gonna have to move. This, I mean, this I can smelt elsewhere. There's like gonna be... Can I just do it like... What a mess. What a mess. So I want to make these. And I, I have... These turbines are happening here. The magnets are on the network. And these are on the network. Really all three of those things are on the network. But if I can make it close to here, then I can at least piggyback on this. But then I would have to make another... I have to make another station anyway. so much. It's all so much. Hi, creature. Uh, well, at the very least, we are... Yes, hi. We have a bunch of these. Okay, that's good, at least. We're demanding coal, yeah. Ow! Look at all that silicon and titanium. That's very cool. Okay, so I think... I'm really gonna plop down another station here just to make these turbines. Go grab some processors. Of which we have a stack. That's not too bad. Those are at least going. Okay, I'm gonna plop down another junk drawer, because why not? Uh, right, I'm going to take all of this. Remember, you can hold an infinite number of things in your hand so long as you're okay with not clicking on anything else. of rocks. Oh, 
stat. Uh, no, whatever. Not even by that much. Meow. This isn't even gonna be. Is this even enough room? Um, here, let's do. Grab all this. Pop it in. And then it's gonna be an assembler with three inputs. Meow. Hi. I think this is this is gonna be awkward, but I think it's what's gonna happen. Um, I need to start mining all of the stone and stuff so I can, you know, move it elsewhere and then not have to waste these veins. Um, okay, so then this is going to be that. Yeah, hi. So one of the inputs is this. Right. And then the other two are going to be imported. I mean, we're getting magnets over there, but that's I could route it all the way down. So it wouldn't be too bad. No, oh, but there's not even any slots left on this side. Yeah, okay. Well... I can do... I could do this. How about this? Uh-oh. Here's our... Oh, our magnets. Go like this. Go up. And then across. This will demand graphite. And then supply these. Yeah. And then, yeah, I just need 10 of those. Block that down. Need some power. This gonna be that. And then output goes like this. Oh, and of course I need to do like that. Cool. 
That's a thing. Oops. <laughs> We're back down to 60%. That's... You can see some of our sales are already halfway through their lifetime. But we are getting... Oh, but we're only requesting three. Is that because we're... We're in the shadow? It must be, right? We're entering... We're entering the dark season. Well, no, we should be able to still see it. going on now? It's, yeah, okay, so it's nighttime here. Yeah, see, they're just not doing anything now. We can't launch more. We can't collect our power. Because the sun is below the horizon. Like, just barely, too. And this is going to be, like... be just because there's going to be like the day night time thing right but there's also going to be like summer winter there's going to be some portion of the time where this pole is just in darkness for a long period of time just because of the, the tilt of the planet right we have uh orbital radius da, 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 da. seven percent uh orbital inclination that's not too bad actually or no, planet obliquity, 11%. So complicated. Uh, but yeah, now we're just, we're gonna be screwed on power until the sun comes back. And that's gonna be how this works the moment. Uh, but that's why we're, we're still working on power stuff. That's still the focus. Uh, these super magnets, I think that's what these are. Uh, super magnetic ring, yeah. So, I want to make some of these. Which requires these, which requires these, which requires steel. I need these. Which I am, I'm not making these. But I am making those components. Titanium alloy. Is that being made? That should be something that... Uh, actually, I don't think I have that hooked up yet, do I? That was just a temporary thing. Because of course it was. That's this. Yeah. Uh, cool. Uh, so this has been doing nothing. It needs titanium and steel. I mean, I can't make one. But that's because, I mean, it's the component for the thing and then the for the thing. Oi.
So we're making both those things. They're just nowhere near here. You are full of stuff. Like, things are simultaneously getting more efficient, but also, like, more jank. And <laughs> once we get the power situation sorted, we'll be in a better shape. But you have to, like, you have to get everything... You have to do everything first. Okay, so then this goes away, this goes away. This is going to demand steel. Titanium. Uh, and which is which? This one's steel. And then titanium. I mean, this can go back in. We'll say this supplies titanium alloy. We will need that at some point. some more drones for it. Hey look, a stack of drones. could do lots of things. <laughs> I'm not going to get distracted. Plop. Okay. Well, that will help. Let's make our titanium alloy. So now... Right, we need more titanium. Titanium alloy. Batteries. Which needs silicon, those things. So let's make a, and I, I have a stockpile of those sitting around. Let's make a bunch of, make a bunch of batteries. Of silicon? There is a bunch of silicon. Okay, good. Let's just do that and then start making. No, that's iron! Okay. That's also fine. Clear some inventory space there. Iron is over here. Wow. 
That was full, not that long ago. Okay, well, there's there's 40 and we need 20 per. Wow. And then what am I short on? More iron. If I could get, if I could make 10 of them, I'd be very happy. I think there's a, there's a maximum number we can put on the gas giant because they like, they need to go on the equator and they need some certain space around. I think 10 is a good number, which means 200 batteries. going. We're really using all that iron. Just need more, just need more ore coming in. There's even, isn't there like some like right here? There's stone, there's stone, there's iron. Probably have a bunch of spare miners on me. help, I think. Yeah, because that's just going to come straight back out and, and go into the smelters. A lot of our irons go into the steel. Which, you know, is also needed for things. There's like a whole, there's a whole other thing of steel way over here. Unless we've gone through it all already. Well, <laughs> we've gone through a bunch of it. Oh boy. Okay. 
So I need how many more batteries? I have almost a hundred. So that'll be a hundred. So that'd be enough for five. How about let's start with five? I need to make five of these. I mean, I need to make five of those, which means I need a bunch of titanium. Uh, which is there. Hopefully. Yeah, okay. Too much stuff. Too much. Why are you. I don't. Can I just. Go away. Covering our planet with stuff. We have <laughs> look our uh, we are we're taking up our planet very quickly here. everything. these things at any one time. show up in my inventory just right now. Okay, whatever. Uh, you can go with And then we need more processors. Holy cow. Drones would be nice right about now. Hack processors. There you go. I mean that and that's going to give us that's going to give us 5 of the first one. Okay. 5 small towers. And then from there we need titanium alloy. I want to make ships too. Oh boy. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. And of course, this isn't actually doing the thing. I 
I, sh I should be making these somewhere. Yikes. I mean, I do have all those things on the logistic system. But I'm... <laughs> I'd have to make more in order to make more. So we'll just we'll just hand make these for now. This is <laughs> this is fine. But that's one of the next things to go uh, to get automated, I think. Because we, we're gonna need a bunch more. We need a hundred more there, and then and then yeah. We need three more batteries. Is that what's going on there? short on this time is it gonna be gonna be those probably that's too many should upgrade our logistics right these are there's we have three different kinds of logistics now these are there's drones are they are they called different things There's bots, drones, and vessels. So the drones and bots are what's on this planet. Drones and bots. Does anything upgrade the vessels? It sure doesn't seem so. These will these will help things. And then that's also nice. Okay, so I have a hundred batteries, five planetary stations. I need to make five of these. Okay, good, I'm over here. That was on purpose. But yeah, four more of those. My goodness, it's gonna take five minutes. <laughs> and then we need to make that. Five times. And then we need to make vessels. Wessels. And then we're gonna need another interstellar logistics station on our planet in order to receive all this stuff. We're gonna get so much hydrogen, 
so much hydrogen. Can I even make this? Can I even make these yet? No? Requires high strength material. <laughs> That's titanium and the other thing. Holy cow. This is why I like batteries. Batteries don't have to deal with any of this. Because if we... Like, I'm terrified of our inner planet. We saw, we saw three dark fog stations on it when we flew by last. There's a lot of dark fog activity there. There's titanium. There's no silicon. There is titanium. 14 million stone. See, solar energy ratio 130%. It gets better... It gets better solar energy just for being closer. We're at 89%. And then if you were out there, you'd be at 50%. Holy cow. Holy cow. Well, that helps. So I'm going to want to do... I want more processors. Stack. They stack. They stack too much. <laughs> I mean, I could even. Can I just do this? I want to use all my processors for it. Don't seem to work. Congratulations, you've obtained metadata. Hooray. Award from Sensor Brain for uploading matrices. Metadata is a more advanced information carrier instantiated from matrices, and it has more complicated data structure. Use it to buy out technologies or convert it back as the corresponding matrices. Keep uploading matrices to obtain more metadata. Open the stats panel for detailed no processors coming in. That's being slow because it's waiting on silicon. All of our all of our supply chains are gonna start <laughs> becoming inadequate quite quickly. But I mean that's why we're working on power because we're gonna start fleshing everything out. Everything's gonna get everything's gonna get bigger. Everything's gonna get bigger. Full accumulators. You need to charge the accumulators to make the thing. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no.
<laughs> make one of these. That's going to take a while to charge. This doesn't have to happen anywhere in particular, but I'm going to do it up here just because this is where all the dice and spear stuff is happening. Uh, where does it? Oh, it's this. Okay, fine. Let's do this. You've built a powerful energy exchanger. It can quickly charge accumulators, surplus electricity from the power grid, or rapidly. This is going to be set to charging. I'm going to drop our batteries in here. We're going to end up over here. What? Whatever. Will this actually work? Rated power, actual power. It's not going to work unless we have a surplus. I don't think we can charge these unless we're making extra power, but I'm doing this for power. That was the whole point. Oh my God. This isn't going to do anything. Yeah, cool. Oh no. And we went this whole period without launching solar sails. We're launching again now. Dark Fog is stealing half a megawatt of my power. Holy cow. Okay, so then, so now, now what? If, if this isn't gonna be... Well, maybe we'll, maybe we'll get to charge some now that we're... Actually launching again? Still requesting <laughs> double from the dice and swarm that we're making. But even like even if that works, that's gonna take forever. Some of these have been continuously receiving for quite a while now. Okay, so if the goal is to make more power, the options are burn a shit ton of coal, go take over the inner planet and do accumulators there so we can charge batteries, wait for this to work someday. Oh, the fact that we need full batteries, I totally missed that. I totally missed that. Or just scale up our dice and swarm and deal with the fluctuations. I don't like that either. I mean, maybe we'll, maybe we'll get to, maybe we're gonna get to 100 here. We do another uh, efficiency upgrade. 
could. Another another 10%, another 10%. Could do both of those. Do that. That'll that'll help. Don't think that'll solve things. But we're I mean we're getting awfully close. How's our how's our coal doing? I know we're still using coal for a lot of our power right now. Maybe I just need to kick its butt a little. I mean, this is all working. And this is working. Hey, we've activated the energy exchanger. Okay, so maybe we'll be fine. Barely. Yeah. Okay. Cross your fingers. If we can charge 100 batteries, then maybe we'll be okay. It's gonna be... It's gonna be a minute. It's only it's charging at a tenth of its capacity because we're not providing it with that much power, right? But it is slowly improving. We're gonna start losing our oldest sails. make that better. How do I make that better? We're, we're using all our hydrogen there. We've used all our hydrogen here. There is some hydrogen here, but really not that much in the grand scheme of things. And we're using it for our research. And increasing our refining would take a lot more power. Because there's, there's this, but that takes... This takes hydrogen and then has like a chance of making deuterium. So I don't think that's going to be very energy efficient for us. We want the particle collider. I guess we could start we could start making particle colliders. Maybe a particle collider. What does that take? Miniature particle collider. Oh, it takes that, of course, which we're not even able to make yet. That's why we were researching that. Uh, that's that's that, but that needs that. Holy cow! Okay, so if we need that all to happen before we can even start making deuterium. But deuterium power is a little ways off still, I think. I mean, I'm at the point where, like, do I just, do I just go to the inner planet and kick, kick some butt and then put down a bunch of solar panels? We could make a bunch of solar panels. I mean, I could even put down a bunch of accumulators there. Or not accumulators, a bunch of, um, ray receivers. I think that's the next job. I think that's gonna have to be. I think it's gotta be next. Cause yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna charge these batteries this decade with our current capacity. Like very, <laughs> very slowly. We have charged a battery. We have charged a battery. Okay. 
Of course, I've turned all those into the, the big interstellar stations. On the plus side, we have all the missiles, right? We have missiles. We have missiles. Okay, so then that's that's going to be the next step. Next time, next time on Dyson Sphere, next time on Spaghetti Madness. We're going to make we're going to we're going to go kick butt on the inner planet. We've done it twice. We've uh Why is it stopped? It just stopped entirely. Why? Is it yellow cubes? We're waiting on yellow cubes now. Which I guess is makes sense. That's probably the most appropriate one to be waiting on. But yeah. We're gonna go we're gonna go kick a butt. We're gonna go we're gonna go take over our inner planet. Uh, and then we will have control over all three planets in our system. Uh, Scorchidia. We're gonna go journey to Scorchidia next time. We're gonna do our same system, right? We're gonna do um, a bunch of missile turrets, and then a whole bunch of missiles, and then a bunch of signal towers. And then once we have beaten them, we're going to put down a bunch of ray receivers there. And then we're gonna put a bunch of battery chargers there. And then we're gonna basically charge batteries there and ship them out here and discharge them here. That's going to be what happens. And then that's still not going to be super long term efficient. Um, I still don't think this is going to be the star where we put our permanent Dyson sphere. Um, so that's going to be that's going to be the thing that powers us to get to the point of being able to warp to another star system. And then we're going to find a good star. We're going to find like the perfect star for the Dyson Sphere. And then we'll basically do the same thing there. We're going to have our have an inner planet there where we put a whole bunch of ray receivers and battery chargers. And then those batteries will be shipped back to our home planet and the rest of like every other planet we, we take over. We're going to ship batteries to it. And they're all going to be charged by a single star. We're getting there. We're getting there, but my god. This game is ridiculous. This game is ridiculous. Steve. Steve. Um, but that's I mean that's some progress. I'm happy with our progress. Just Mike, there's the, the to-do list. Every every time you take something off the to-do list, you add two things to it. Bonkers. It's bonkers. Um, but I love it. I do love it. I, I really want to do a whole pass. Once we get our power situation settled. Settled. Um, I, so ne yeah, next time we're going to go to our go to the inner planet, get power going there, get batteries coming back. And then once our once our home planet's power is stable, we're going to start fleshing things out. Um, Basically, every single thing that we're making right now is being done at like the lowest capacity. We should we're going to be upgrading all our conveyor belts. We're going to be upgrading all the sorters. We can upgrade like the assemblers themselves. There's like Mark II assemblers so that they can make stuff faster and you can feed them with stuff faster with the better conveyor belts and the better sorters. And we can upgrade our our drones. They can carry more things like it's all just going to start getting like more. We have the bones. We have made the bones. We have our infrastructure going. We have our logistics going. Now it's just more. So much more. So, so, so much more. But yeah, um... I'm gonna stop talking now because my brain hurts. And... Uh, and yeah, uh, today's episode... If I can pull it back up. 
Today's episode is brought to you by a snow-covered forest, but also by you following and liking and clicking buttons down there, um, joining the Discord, uh, lurking, all that good stuff. Um, thanks for thanks for hanging out. I appreciate y'all being here. Um, that's the thing that keeps me warm through uh, through these frigid nights. Uh, and yeah, I I hope you come by on Thursday. We're gonna play more Timberborn, and then. Uh, Maybe more Timberborn on Saturday, and then maybe more Dyson Sphere on Monday. Something like that. Maybe go back like maybe like two in a row for each or something. I don't know. Well, one of those two games is going to be what I play for for a bit. Um, and yeah, I also hope you I hope you have a good rest of your week. I hope you I hope you stay calm.